let's learn the wallpaper dimensions for all iPhone 17 variations and export options in Photoshop in this simple tutorial. So there are three sets of dimensions to become accustomed to depending on the iPhone version you're getting. So if you've got a 17 or a 17 Pro, the wallpaper dimensions are 1206 pixels by 2622 pixels and your PPI or your resolution is set to 460. If you get an iPhone 17 Pro Max, your width will be 1320, your height will be 2868 and again your PPI will be 460. And finally, if you get an iPhone 17 Air, your width will be 1260, your height will be 2736 and once again your PPI will be set to 460. So if you're setting up your wallpaper in Photoshop, if you just come to File, New, if I just drag this over here, so as we're using screens, make sure your color mode is in RGB mode and we're going to make sure our width, if for example we're doing this for the iPhone 17 Air, set our width to 1260, set our height to 2736, make sure our resolution is set to pixels to inch and make sure this is set to 460. Once we're happy with this, simply click create. So now go ahead and create your artwork on the canvas that's been created. Remember to save this Photoshop file as well so you can go back and make changes at any time. And once you're happy with your wallpaper, simply come to file, export, export as, and now your export option is going to depend on the type of artwork you have. So if you're just using a photo or a wallpaper with not too many graphical elements, JPEG is a good catch-all option to use. Like I said, you can bring up your quality to as high as you want. But if you're using something with gradients or something with very kind of crisp, specific graphical details, you might want to export as a PNG instead to preserve the crispness and the detail on the graphics particularly if you're using gradients. So in your export option, once you're happy with your setup, PNG or JPEG, simply then come to export, locate where you're gonna put your export. So I'll put mine in my DWG images folder, set your file name and simply click save. And from there then you'll export your wallpaper. And there we have it. Those are the wallpaper dimensions for the four variations of the new iPhone 17. So we covered the 17, the 17 Pro, the 17 Pro Max, and the 17A. And then also exporting it as a JPEG or a PNG depending on the type of images or graphics you're using. So I really hope you found that tutorial helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, keep on designing, and I will see you for the next tutorial.